What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm Nick and today I'm going to be explaining my setups for catching yellowtail. Today is Sunday and on Tuesday in two days I fly down to San Diego to go kayak fishing with Outdoor Chef Life and Die Hard Fishing. So I want to show you what I'm going to be using and what other people use. This video is specifically for kayak fishermen so it might be a little different for people that go on charter boats. In general, for kayak fishing, you don't want a long rod. It's really hard to handle. It's hard to bring the fish in close to you when you're trying to net it. Things like salmon, where you want a really cushiony rod, is a little different. That's an exception. But normally people like the six foot to eight foot range for kayak fishing. Um, so if you're fishing Southern California on a kayak, specifically San Diego, um, La Jolla Beach, you want to have a couple different setups. Most people when they go to La Jolla to go fishing, they have three setups. They have one for throwing iron, one for vertical jigging and bottom bouncing, and another one for live bait. So the first setup that I'm going to bring is to catch my bait. It's a Penn Battle 2, um, size 3000. I have 20 pound braid filled to the brim, maybe 300 yards. And then a top shot of fluorocarbon, maybe 5 feet. This is a Shimano Skimitar. It's rated a medium fast action rod and it, the lure weight is 3 eighths to 3 fourths ounce. But this is a really nice light setup. It's, so this is a great setup for catching bait. Not too whippy, but nice and sensitive so you can feel the bites. I can also cast light lures with this, like the Lucky Craft, small iron, small jigs if they're really picky. So this is a little different than normal people. My second setup is a casting setup and this is an eight foot Tika rod. This is if I see anything in the distance and I need to cast long distance, get there. This is throwing irons, throwing jigs, but this is a little longer than I normally like for the kayak. It's normally my surf setup. You really can whip it out really far with this thing. But I know that people use conventional reels to throw irons and I've never done that before so I'm not gonna try to learn something new. I need to catch some fish. And personally, I think casting is one of my best skills as a fisherman. So I wanna utilize that as much as possible the next setup is my Daiwa Saltis, but this isn't the six foot six, this is the seven foot. I have another Daiwa Saltis rod, but it's a six foot six and it's rated for medium action. This is a seven foot and it's extra heavy. So this is really good for catching some big fish. But it's seven feet, so it's perfect for the kayak, but it still has a little bit of length so you can pitch out baits and it's not so short where it's hard to keep the bend. It has a little bit of tip on it, so it's actually kind of sensitive on the tip. And I pair, and I pair this with the Saltis two-speed reel, 30 size. As far as the line goes, I have a whole 300 yards of 30 pound braid on here. And then on top of that, I have 65 pound braid, about 150, maybe 200 yards. And then I have a small top shot of 40 pound fluorocarbon. This is the P-Line Shinsei, the best fluorocarbon I've used to date. So this Saltis has plenty of line on it to handle any fish that I come across. Over, five, over 500 yards of braid. And the reason I don't use too heavy of a braid, I only use 60 pound braid is if I get tangled in that stuff or I need to break off my line, if you use anything like 80 pound or 100 pound, it's like a tow rope, man. It's so hard to cut and it becomes dangerous. 
So when you're on a kayak, anything more than 65 pound braid is kind of pointless. And number two, 60 pounds of pressure is a lot of pressure. That's more pressure than I put on a fish normally. So in my opinion, 30 pound braid, 60 pound braid, that's pretty good for a kayak. You don't really need much more than that. The exception to that is if you're fishing near structure or you're going really down deep for some really big fish. Um, fish with sharp teeth. But in my opinion, 30 pound braid, 65 pound braid is the sweet spot for kayak fishing. And I pretty much stick within that range. And last but not least, I got a hand-me-down from my uncle. And this reel is, I don't even know what this reel is. I'm not sure the brand. It says Riki Maru, produced in Japan. And it says line rating is PE6, 250 meters. So this is a Rikimaru 2 3000, line rating PE6, 250 meters. I'm not sure what that means, but it's a really nice reel. It has a big handle, so I know it's capable of handling big fish. Super smooth, pretty fast retrieval rate. Um, I've never seen this before. This, this is probably just as old as I am maybe. This has to be over 20 years old, but it's in great shape still. I love this teardrop handle. So I put some 65 pound braid on it. as well as a top shot of fluorocarbon, 40 pound. This thing is filled to the brim. It's ready to go. And I paired it with an ugly stick tiger. This is a hand-me-down from my uncle. Really stoked about it. I was actually looking at tiger sticks at the store and I saw a lot of people, they land fish on these things. This is just like an OG, they call it a work stick. Cause it can just, cause this thing can kill so many different species. Like it has a sensitive tip, but it has a lot of backbone. So you can, you can really heave up a fish with this thing. It's seven feet rated medium heavy action, which is absolutely perfect. This was the exact rod that I was looking to buy. And my uncle just happened to have an extra one. And this one's old too. It has this little tuna picture on it. So stoked about that. And it has metal guides. And you might think that's a bad thing, but on a kayak, it's actually a good thing. You break a lot of rod tips when you're kayaking, you bash guides, and when you have a little ceramic insert on the inside, it cracks really easy. And when it cracks, it's really sharp. And as soon as it touches the braid, it just slices the braid and you break off and then you just wonder what happened. It's, it's so confusing. So if you're looking for a budget rod, um, this seven foot medium heavy action, ugly stick tiger is an extremely good choice. This is like the best bang for your buck, yellowtail Southern California rod. You can use this for halibut fishing, rock fishing, Overall, this is a really great rod for the kayak. These are going to be my four setups that I'm going to bring to San Diego next week. I got my bait setup. I got my long distance casting setup, my live bait bottom bouncing setup, and another live bait setup. But we're going to start a new series called The Day in the Life. So next time you see me, 
We'll be in San Diego doing a collab with Die Hard Fishing and Outdoor Chef Life. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later.